you. Coach Stewart, you guys hosted the uh, Joe Meeker Classic and Multi this past weekend. How do you how do you feel that you guys did? Yeah, I think it was a good weekend. I mean, we had some great things happen and had some you know disappointing things happen. I think the men's four by one we definitely wanted to get the stick around there and get a time on the board, but uh, it didn't happen this week. So hopefully we can do it at Tech this weekend. And Jamal Wilson, the hurdles going to run good there, and then he kind of hit a hurdle and then had a little crash landing there. So we'll, we'll get him back going this weekend. But as far as the rest of our guys, they did outstanding. Uh, women were really good in the sprints, got them rolling. 100, 200, got some qualifiers there. Ran better in the four by one. Uh, so I feel good about all our jumps as well. Taylor Nelms had an outstanding day. And I jump, long jump, and triple jump in the same day. And really hit provisional marks in all three and automatic mark in the triple jump. And the throws wise, Zeta keeps doing her thing. And I thought the guys threw well. So overall, really good meet. Um, some disappointing things there, but uh, we won the championship meet so we can make it up uh, this week and in the weeks to follow. What do you want to see this week down in Lubbock? Well, we'll do a lot of our relays, four by four on the women. We'll try to qualify there. And then really just keep getting reps from my women that are coming off the COVID waiver that are had to sit out for a while. They're starting to come around. So I'm looking forward to seeing where they're at this weekend. And then really big weekend for our distance crew. They're going to Lee, Tennessee uh, to run in a basically almost like a distance carnival, a bunch of distance races that are set up for fast times. So 10K, 5K, 800, 1500, we'll have 15 of our athletes down there in Tennessee. So hopefully they can come back with some national times as well. How would you grade some of those, uh, you said the fifth year girls, the, and some of the athletes say that they could be last year, they maybe not competed the year before. How do, you, how do you feel that they're kind of getting, how, how do you feel that they're doing right now? I think we made some strides this weekend. I think they're coming around. Valda Cabilla is really coming around. She's had like two years off. So she redshirted in 2019 outdoor was going to do 2020 outdoor for us, couldn't do that. And so now she's in her last year of her master's program. So she's one that's really coming around for us. Madison Pfeffer's been a little banged up. I think she'll, she didn't get to train at all last week. So hopefully she, she gets to come around for us. And then Mila Heinrich's a big one I got to get going. I think she can uh, do something for us in the 400. She looked better last week. It's just taken, it's taken a few meets, a few meet, meet reps to, to get rolling. And I didn't, I didn't. I forgot to mention Benjamin. He did well in the 200. Obviously, automatic qualifying time, school record, 20.5. Uh, we haven't even worked on the 200 since indoors. So it's his first 200 since indoors. So I think he'll run even faster the more we get to train and uh, get to get back to work a little bit with him.